Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Yeah, you know, some of these things, eh, when, when, when things happen and uh, maybe they have not... Uh, when things happen and somehow it, it, they are just, you are just hearing from, from the news You're just hearing from the news. You might not think it's re it's not real. You might not think it's not real. Uh, this issue of the milli meal. Uh, I our dog has been has been sick, and now it it has been admitted in in hospital. Our dog has been admitted in hospital, and here it is. Look. look look how it looks this is a big dog you know it's a big dog but it it stopped here it stopped eating it was just vomiting this is in in one of the veterinary hospital you see it's on a drip there and they sent me the results the results are clearly showing that uh, it is because of the the milli meal. Mm? Ah, imagine. Yeah, ish. I don't know. It, it's 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 very sick. But I am talking about this just to show you, uh, to show you how serious this is. Of course, I mean, in our setting, like somebody's already saying, Yeah, it's true, it's a dog, but this is a dog that consumed the poisonous milli meal. This is a dog that consumed the poisonous milli meal. And it is, it is really very serious. Uh, I don't know if this dog will make it, but well, it's, it's being treated. But uh, uh, other dogs have died. But this also, I can assure you, if a dog is whatever getting sick like this, there must be some. Uh, there is some some effect also on human beings. You may not get sick today, but you know I don't know when. That's how people are dying of uh, ailments that they can we cannot explain. Hmm? This is very serious, and now they are saying that they have, de they, are, they, they have declared that all brands are safe. All brands are safe. What have they done to the maize? We saw them destroying, destroying uh, some of the maize, some of the milli meal. But what about the maize? Are you telling me the maize, uh, they, have, they, have, they have gotten rid of it? Eh? And they have not even explained where this maize came from. They have not explained where this maize came from. <laughs> ah, it's um, it's very serious, eh? It's really serious. It's it's very serious. Oh Lord, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for this dog. Ah. Anyway, these are some of the challenges that we have with Waka in the Ichirim. It's it's a big disappointment, eh? It's a big disappointment. But this disappointment is not only for the Zambians. This disappointment is also with the other uh, countries. Other countries are actually complaining about Haka in the HDMI. And we can tell you, some of us who are out here, and some of us who have been knocking on different doors for them to give us assistance based on the fact that uh, we are being persecuted in our country. I I, I want you to know this. Um, I don't know how far I can go in, um, in in telling you about my experience, 
But I will tell you that, uh, of course, when I left the country, I I sought for um, a, a political asylum. That's what I sought for. That's what I sought for, and uh, I I I, try, I knocked on different doors. Let me just say, I knocked on different doors, and uh, I will tell you that uh, on all the doors that I knocked, all the doors that I knocked, only one, only one door was not open for me. Only one door was not open for me. Only one door was not open for me. When I left and went into South Africa, I tell you, countries, I had five offers, five offers, five offers, five countries, that were willing to take me in Africa, five countries, five countries. I could, I could, I could mention them, but of course, I need to uh, mm, respect the the diplomatic relations that uh, uh, our country has. You know, at the diplomatic level, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't come out and, and say this government is not happy with the. Uh, my government or is not happy with the, my president you don't say that you just don't say that you can't come out here on social media at least especially a person like me who is aspiring to be president who is aspiring to be a chief diplomat because when you are a president you are the chief diplomat so i cannot come here and tell you that this country eh, this country uh, uh, told me that uh, you know they are not happy whatever but i can tell you that whilst uh, you press singers were busy talking about hey hey you'll be brought back whatever whatever you'll be brought back i had five countries five countries in africa in africa that offered me asylum that offered me five countries that offered me asylum but i couldn't stay uh, there i didn't want to stay there because um, for a number of reasons let me just say for a number of reasons i decided not to stay in africa so i left africa i left africa but this again is after you know making consultations asking other countries and all other countries that i spoke to all other countries that i spoke to all other countries that i approached they, there is no country that denied me that denied me to say no you cannot come here no country i am telling you i'm telling you this to make you understand that the president of the the the, the, the leadership of waka in the is not only a disappointment to the zambian people is also a disappointment to other countries it's also a disappointment to other countries and I can, I, I, this is a fact. This is a fact. Not fiat uh -uh. This is a fact. A number of countries, because in, a, in, a, if it, if really uh, the, that government was doing well, I would have been brought back. I would have been brought back. Or I would have struggled. I would have gotten stranded. But even now, as I'm in this country, I've got options. I've got options. I am a person that is able to leave this country and go to another country. I am able to do that. The only thing is that I need to consider other factors. It is other factors and where I am, it is an out of consideration of many factors that have ended up in this country. And I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful to everybody uh, that have um, you know helped in one way or the other i am exceedingly uh, grateful the point is that our governance system what is happening in our country a lot of people are not happy and this is why you saw even the united nations talking about it the human rights are talking about it not i am a human rights bang to amfiko poto amzambia Eh? Our human rights which are being laid eh, by these cadres. Eh? We have got a organization in Zambia which call themselves human rights, human rights, human rights. Uh, I mean, <laughs> those are cadres looking for jobs in government. Those are not giving you the true picture of how Zambia is being perceived.
and I can and and I, I, I will tell you that even now I have become like a source of information now a number of organization international big organizations they call me to ask me about various issues and actually the persistence or the continuous uh, abuse of human rights it has become a point of discussions most of the times because you see when you present your case you are called for interviews they will call you you know you go back and so on and so forth i've attended i've been attending interviews i've been attending uh, uh, let me yeah they can't say meetings but they are interviews because they want to understand what is currently going on they want to understand what is currently going on and i've found myself a number of times being interviewed about what is happening in the country my situation those of you who have gone out to look for um uh, asylum um uh, for asylum in other countries they will tell you that it's not easy even with UNHCR, it's not easy. There are a number of people that have been, that have applied or that have gone into different countries. They have applied to UNHCR. For them to be recognized as refugees, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. But for me, I can confirm to you that I am a recognized refugee myself. I am a recognized refugee. Those people who have gone out there looking for asylum, I can assure you, they will tell you it is not something that you can that you can get within within these few months. It's not. It's not. But because of the situation in our country, people are paying attention. People are paying attention. And a number of times I have gone in interviews and I think most of the interviews that I've had, they haven't been so much about myself. Most of the interviews that I've attended so far, I would say about 70% of the interviews that I've attended with different organizations, by the way, different organizations, okay, international organizations. With different organizations, most of these interviews that I've, that I've attended, they are about other issues. I remember the last time that I, I had an interview. I had an interview last time, the last time I had this interview. And it is the day that Fred Mendo was arrested. And the news was all over. And I'm arriving, and then, you know, this officer was like, Sir, what is happening in your country? Do you know this man? He was opening the computer now. Do you know this man, Fred Mendo? I said, yes, I know this man. Is he my colleague, is my brother, is not somebody that I just know from a political or whatever, is somebody that I know very close. And I can tell you that that interview, which was supposed to be maybe more about me, we spent it discussing Fred Mendy because that day I think he, uh, we had about four people that were arrested. We had Fred Mendy, we had I think he. Um, uh, um, uh, we had Munia Zulu, we had a number of them on a particular day. So, the discussion, the interview that would have been more about me was now turned out to be more about these different people asking me, Yes, a boy, asking me, Do you know this person? Do you know this person? What about this person? What about this person? What about this person? And clearly. All of them, I mean, the cases, I because what they wanted to understand are the cases. This person has been charged with this case. What do you know about it? And I explained, this person, uh, for example, Savoy, uh, Savoy was also one of those people that came up. What is this? What about this woman? I explained, there's another person that, uh, Savoy, there's another one who was um, a subject of discussion in that one. Who was the subject of discussion? There was another one. There was an, apart from Samoy, yes, Banawakwi, thank you very much. Thank you. It was Banawakwi. Banawakwi, and you know, some of these people, we don't just know. Some of these people, Banawakwi, out here, she's highly respected. Banawakwi is highly respected. I was very shocked. Very shocked. We took almost 30 minutes 
talking about wanawaku talking about wanawaku she's highly respected uh, with due respect to all others but wanawaku was like what is wrong with this person you know and then it was what was interesting was the fact that the, the case of wanawaku is directly on haka in the the conflict is between Banawakwi and Haka in the Ichine. And these people, I sat with these people, five of them, five of them, these Bazungus, they were busy talking about this. They wanted to understand what is it? What is it? This woman, you know, uh, the first, the first they, they, they spoke so much about her as a former finance minister, the first female finance minister. Highly respected. The first female finance minister during the time of SAP. So they wanted to understand what is going on, what is between, you know, the president and Haka Inde Ichirima. Why is Haka Inde Ichirima being so ruthless to this woman? We understand that at one point she was sick. She was sick, but she was arrested. We understand that at one point she wanted to go out of the country and she was stopped. Why was she stopped? These are the kind of interviews that I've attended. And I hope, I mean, uh, because I know these people do follow me, I, I hope, you know, they don't feel like I'm exposing them. No, but it is just for me to make people appreciate the challenges that are, uh, or to, to make people understand how Zambia is being perceived. Because it is important how Zambia is being perceived outside in the you know in the in the in the in the in the geopolitics is very important it affects the economy so we spent time discussing vanawaku we spent time discussing a, a, a fred membe fred membe of course coming out because who is fred membe fred membe is coming from you know uh, the journal journalistic um, uh, background he owned what he owned the second largest uh, largest uh, uh, um, what is this media house if anything the first when you talk about uh, private media house so fred member is also a, a point of attention so all this was 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 there it was not that they called me no i i was due for interview on that particular day but as I went there, that is the time when all these things were happening. So I can tell you that we spent time just talking about these people, such that I couldn't even I couldn't even uh, talk much about myself. So, if you like the the, the bad governance, the abuse of uh, um, of um, of uh, of different people in Zambia has made the situation different or oh, if you like it, it, it somehow helped me it somehow helped me because it is justified to say I mean it's not only you it's these people and it's actually happening so those of you who are wondering to say what, what I mean I'm giving you the honest the honest truth the honest truth some of these things they have actually they have actually helped me because you know it has become evident it's like when you are talking about these things when they are interviewing you and they go on social media because these days when whatever you talk about the people just go on social media and when they open on social media to 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 check on on the governance what they are getting my arrest arrest of this one arrest of this one arrest of this one and now you people, even Bantuan Kale, uh, uh, those who are in government, even you were Jack Mwimbo, even you were Aka Inde Ichirem, surely, if you just stop for a moment, if you think of the so many arrests that you have been making, do you really think that is painting a good picture on your government? Do you think it's painting a good picture on your government? I'm telling you, as one person that has been with different organizations discussing Zambia, I'm telling you that Zambia has become a concern. 
And that's why yesterday, when I saw that report, I was not surprised. I was not surprised because some of these organizations, I'm not, I'm not going to mention the different organizations, but a number of organizations that have a, that I have um, um, that I have uh, I have been to, they have expressed concern. They have expressed concern. So the situation is not good, and a number of people are not happy with the leadership of Haka in Beijing. But as if that is not enough, as if that is not enough, now you even go and uh, bring in these cyber laws. When you were busy discussing uh, cyber laws, you were saying, we, we, you condemned the PF. You condemned the PF. You said, this cyber law is bad. We are going to do what? We are going to do what? We are going to, to actually you said you, you are going to scrap it off. Eh? We are going to repeal eh? that cyber, cyber law. It was very clear, but you said that. Eh? Now, instead of getting rid of that, that, that bad law, which my PF, which my PF left, you are now even, you have, you have, brought, you have made it worse. Eh? You have made it worse. So if you think about it, I don't know uh, what you are doing to uh, to yourselves as a as a government. I really don't know what you are doing to yourselves as a government because whilst people are busy expressing concern, hello, you are now you are even making things worse. You have even you are now uh, basically telling people they should not. Uh, they should not uh, be talking. You are cramping on the fundamental right of people to express themselves. Uh, and people out there, especially the Western countries, they respect the freedom of expression. They express the freedom of expression. And Imwe, you are busy now, you know, uh, 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 coming up with funny laws. Funny laws to clamp on the people's rights. Honestly, do you think, he, uh, I mean, the outside world is clapping? Who do you think is clapping for you with these kind of laws that you, you, are, you are bringing up? With this kind of abuse that you are bringing up? And what is bad is that you people, by you PND, it's not only the politicians that you are, you are targeting. You are targeting even innocent citizens. Look at that guy, a uh, Jackson, Jackson, um, uh, Jackson Chama. Jackson Chama, I mean, he's serving a sentence for simply expressing himself, for simply for a simple opinion. Jackson Chama is inside; he's serving a sentence. And Jackson Chama actually came up. I have discussed Jackson Chama, except it was when I was in South Africa. When I was in South Africa, that's when I, um, one of the organizations asked me about, about Jackson Chama because Jackson Chama had just been arrested. And, and I spoke about Jack, Jackson Chama. Now, you have also arrested this guy, Jackson Mwanza. Jackson Mwanza, a guy that was just carrying a placard. A placard. A one-man protest which does not threaten anyone. It doesn't threaten the public peace. Not at all. The guy was simply protesting and you arrest him. And I don't know if he has actually been released, but I believe with the way you are, you are de he is still detained. He's still detained. So, he, he, he doesn't look good for you. It doesn't look good for you. The only people that are, are favoring Haka in the Ichirima are those, you know, that want to make deals out of out of Zambia. But the true uh, statesmen and women, they are not happy with what is happening in Zambia. And you can understand why Haka in the Ichirima is actually struggling to raise resources. If you have seen, we, you know, they keep run, lying about figures and everything, but 
We don't have investment, foreign investment coming into Zambia. We don't have it. We don't have foreign investment coming into Zambia. They can talk about whatever figures and whatever, whatever, but the question is, when there is foreign investment coming in, you will see companies opening up. Tell me which companies are coming up. Don't talk about uh, Mulungushi Textile, oh, because President will come and talk about uh, uh, Mulungushi Textile. Forget about that. But where are the people? Because if you are saying companies are coming, where uh, investment is coming, where are the companies? And you see, when also direct investment is coming in, you have that goodwill and you have, um, you know, uh, people coming in. That is how the dollar also goes down. That is how our kwacha appreciates. At the moment, our kwacha is doing so bad. It's doing so bad because of uh, the, uh, 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 the perceptions, the perceptions that have been created. The perception that is there is that Zambia is unstable at the moment. That is the, 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 the rating of Zambia. Zambia is being seen as unstable country for the short term. For the short term. Meaning to say, investment investors are looking like, I met one guy. I met one guy from... Uh, from um, uh, from the Middle East, let me just say from the Middle East. From the Middle East, this guy uh, was coming from America and um, he, they wanted to invest, they want to invest in Africa. They want to invest in Africa. They have already done something uh, in, in Mozambique and now they wanted to move into Zambia. They wanted to move into Zambia. So, uh, through people that through the consultations that he was making they directed him that uh, I, he should come and talk to me okay one of the organizations directed this guy from um, he, he was coming from america he, he's from the middle east he was in america but whilst in, in america one organization told this guy that there is one guy who is from zambia he's currently in singapore and so this guy flew into Singapore to meet me and we had a long chat, you know. He came around like 13 hours, uh, we sat by the pool, we chatted, you know, from there he offered me dinner. We had dinner together and he flew out the following day. But the guy is a big guy, he's really a big guy, really a big guy. But what we were talking about and what he told me, he's the one who told me to say, his consultants are telling him that Zambia is not uh, stable in the short term. Is not stable. They are thinking that there will be a change of government and if there is a change of government, they don't know who is going to come and that person, if he is going to respect, you know, good governance, corporate governance, if he's going to do that. So this is why basically this guy came, because he was told that if Zambia, Zambia's business is highly political, for you to do business in Zambia, you need to be well connected politically. And the guy was saying, I mean, I'm bringing in money, why should I be good to politicians? And this is why he wanted to understand, he was trying to ask me, how do I look at things? Do I think that UPND is going to come back? And okay, if UPND is going, not going to come back, who will possibly come? And what are his policies? How do I see who, who is who in Zambia? That is how that guy came uh, to Singapore and met me. And Shira Kandaram. Because some of you will be like, oh, that is how that guy, and Shira Kandaram. So it is this is the situation that is happening out here then the other just last weekend i attended one of um once one gathering a gathering and i met i met one chinese when he just saw me i was the only african in that in that uh, in that uh, in that group so he quickly came to me and he started engaging me you know where are you from and whatever whatever this guy again they are in four countries in africa but they are not in zambia they are not in zambia why 
they are hesitant. They are hesitant. He just opened in Uganda. He opened in Uganda. He showed me how they launched the company and blah, 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 blah. He was also in Kenya, whatever. But in Zambia, they are worried. They are worried about Haka in the Haka in the I don't know if he has already left. He's going to China. But uh, he's going to be a misfit. He's going to be a misfit. Where he's going, Haka in the where he's going to China is going to be a misfit. Because even, especially the, the Chinese, they are worried about Haka in the policy. They are worried about Haka in the policies. The Western countries, they are worried about Haka in the inconsistency. They are worried about Haka in the is inconsistent. He's very inconsistent. He says one thing in their meetings. When he comes out in public, he says something else. This has come out very clearly. And they have known him that this man is a liar. They have known him that this man is a bipolar. This man is a double-tongued person. They have known him. They have, they have known Haka in the Ichirima, that Haka in the Ichirima is a double-tongued person. They have known him. He talks nice, whatever, whatever, but what he does is something else. And he has disappointed uh, the Western uh, countries. And you know, the Western countries, one thing is that they want somebody who is reliable. They want somebody when he says it, he does exactly that. But Haka in the has disappointed them in the sense that what he says and what he does is something else. He's very unpredictable, very canny. So over there, if you are talking about Zambia's economy to turn around, you need the other countries. You need other countries. You need other countries. And you need to be a person that people can rely on. If you are, if you are going with the, with the Western, uh, go with the Western. And, you know, don't say this and tomorrow you say this. And don't do that. Mm -hmm. If you are going to the East, go with the East. If you choose to be in the middle, be in the middle. Don't pretend each time you see uh, this one, when you are with, uh, with, uh, with, with the Americans, you, you come out like you embrace the Americans and their, 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 their policies and everything. But the moment you go to, you go to, 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 the, to, to, the, to the, to the Chinese, you, you change. That is how Akain kind of behaves. When he goes Kuasungu, he changes. He's Western. He's Muzungu. Eh? He's Muzungu. He even goes to an extent of saying, no, I will protect your interest in Africa. I will protect your interest. I will make sure that I fight against a uh, China influence. How can the Ichilema says these things? I will fight China influence. He comes out of there, he comes in, in, into Zambia, uh, things hammer him left, right and center, like when he was looking for this uh, uh, debt, uh, debt restructuring. Debt restructuring stalled, and it is still not, it hasn't finished by the way. Debt restructuring stalled because of his double term. You know, this unreliable character, character of Waka in the Ichirim. Because Kuma Sungu Alelanda film, Kuma Chinese Alelanda film. And that's why the Chinese, they said, no. I mean, we, we, we want to play ball. We want to play ball. And now, basically, Ukuno Kuwaka in the Ichirim, Anaba Musula. No, Kuku in Ale, Tapadua, he is a misfit, just that, I mean, he has to go, because the, it is a summit for Africa and the Africa and, and, uh, and, and Chinese uh, summit. Otherwise, <laughs> they don't want him, except that they can't just uh, ignore him. So they have invited him. But really, he's not a guy that they trust. Haka in the is not being trusted on an international level. He has messed up. He has messed up. And if that is the situation, if that is the situation, how do you expect our country to move forward? Because Zambia is a country with a small economy. So you need other countries. You need other countries. We need a lot of things in Zambia. We need capacity. We need, uh, we need resources. We need the goodwill of the international community. But Haka in the has messed this one up. 
So on the international scene, he has messed it up. Locally, he has messed it up. He has messed it up. All he knows, he, Avika Podomba, with those, you know, good people, good, especially the Western people, good people, is infuriating them by continuously arresting people, arresting people, arresting people, and bringing, coming up with these laws to stifle people's voices. So at the end of the day, Vane, at the end of the day, Vaka in the HDMI is a total failure. Vaka in the HDMI is a total failure, and we need somebody to come in in 2026. And I'm sure even the international community, they are looking. The only thing is that, one thing that I have, uh, have picked up is that the international community are also not sure of who is going to come. They are not sure who is going to come. When you, when you are talking about uh, uh, Ed Galungu, they are also not very sure. They don't know which direction is going to take. They don't know which direction is going to take, and this is why I have been talking about. Uh, I've been talking about, uh, uh, you know, Bauka to say make a decision, make a decision because this issue of going round, 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 uh, uh, of who is going to be a leader is a problem because we need somebody that we can already start saving. So that even these international communities can start looking at this person, can start studying this person. Who is this person? How can we work this with this person? We need that. The international community pay, play a very important role in the sustainability of a country. So we need them. So we need somebody that we can put out there and, you know, he can start courting people even on the international scene. Haka in the HMI is losing it. He's losing it. Oh, he has lost it. But now, who is going to come up? Who is going to come up? This Uka thing has been taken seriously by different people, even on the international scene, has been taken very seriously because it is being seen like you know, opposition political parties are coming, are come, have come together. Now they need to come up with a leader. And people are not sure who is going to come out. Who is going to come out? And in my point of view, this is why when I'm talking about Ed Galungu, at least he's somebody that is known. He's known in locally, in, in the country. He's known internationally. It will be easy, it will be easy for people to start quoting Ed Galungu. Yes, some of them, you know, that may have had bad experience, but, you know, they will be able to Quote it to quote Ed Galungu is is already sold out. It is easy. It is easy. When I mention Ed, Ed Galungu, nobody gets a pen to say who, and then they start writing. No, they know. When you are talking about Ed Galungu, they don't write. But when I mention any other political party leader, they say who, and then they write down. You see. So it is in the interest of the country that I. I, I keep saying, can we have one presidential candidate that we can start selling? It is not just me, me uh, oh no, Ed Galungu, whatever. No, 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 it is not. It is not. I keep emphasizing that because most of you, you look at it to say, no, I talk about this because Ed Galungu is uh, uh, behind my sustenance here. Today I have revealed to you. Today I have revealed to you, me, I'm a refugee. You should know. I have I've revealed to you I'm a refugee and I am in here. In here. Eh? I, I wish I could walk, walk you around. I, I am being protected. I am being helped by these big organizations. Big organizations. Big organizations. And I want to tell you that you press singers, that's why when I tell you to say, you will never see me coming in handcuffs because I am well protected. There is no way you can come and get me. There is just no way you can come and get me. I am now being protected by big organization on an international level. And I am highly respected and recognized. Not if Musawa is that what, what, uh, nothing. Nothing. They have recognized, they have seen, I've got the following. Uh, 
I've got the influence. Everything has been ticked. And that's why I've been given this asylum. If I was a useless Kambuanga, like some of you praise singers wanted to say, blah, 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 blah. If I wasn't that, I mean, these, these big organizations, they cannot, they cannot be fooled by, by me. They can't be fooled. And if anything, I mean, <laughs> everything speaks for itself. Everything speaks for You can't go into these big organizations and tell them to say blah, 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 and they will hear you. No. No. They have got their own verifications. They check these things. They check these things. And if indeed they saw that I'm just, be, I'm just a malicious guy against my government, against the Haka in the HDMI, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have uh, entertained me. They wouldn't have entertained me. Even now, they wouldn't be entertaining me because even now, I do have meetings, I do have interviews. I've become a source of uh, you know, information in relation to uh, what is happening uh, back at home and in the region. So, give me respect, bro. give me respect. But nonetheless, I mean, I don't want to brag because it's all God's will. It's all God's will. It's by the grace of God that I have this situation. It's by the grace of God. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you that Haka Inde Ichidema and his government are a source of concern to the international community. And of course, this is why you have even seen the reports coming out so negative. I can assure you, come December, a number of, you know, a number of reports that will be coming out will not be very good for Zambia. Because a number of organizations, they have drawn interest in what is happening in Zambia. They have drawn interest. Their issue is, okay, this guy is likely not to make it in, in 2026, but who is coming? Who is coming? That is their issue. So, uh, on that so very sober note, I am calling for you to start uh, making your calls and we can, we can discuss anything that you want to... Uh, y y y you can call in and um, make your contribution or whatever questions that you want to ask, I will respond to you. Somebody saying I'm asking I'm asking for empowerment. Unfortunately, I, I don't have I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. So for those of you, because I know some people would want uh, would would want to to get assistance from me i'm not getting money i'm not being paid but i'm being looked after that's what i can tell you i am not being paid money but i'm being looked after and i can tell you i'm being looked after very very well nineka anavesa nineka anavesa kuno nineka anavesa nineka anavesa Valensunga wino wino sana sana sana. But Ulupia will not go at Munja, but yo shan shan Ulupia will not squid. And yes, of course, I've got a family back, um, back at home and in Ethiopia, I've got a family. That is something that is my, my, my worry. In an everybody in an acre, I don't have a problem. My problem is with those with my family because I need to provide for them. I mean, I'm the head of the house. So that is the only challenge. The only challenge that I have is really for my family and not for me. For me, I'm okay. But for my family, you know, that is where I have a challenge. Um, that is where I have a challenge. And so even when I say, yeah, something. It is not so much about me. It is not so much about me. I can assure you, in a kunonsha kafupone sala. But don't don't can shako urupo arwandi kunganda. That is my only my only worry. Otherwise, everything else, I am good. I am good. Mm -hmm. So where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Where is that now? Where is that? So we are even pay. Hey, shan shan yeah. What is that? Thirty, thirty. Hehe, ukubala. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Thirty, thirty, thirty. 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 Th
Des difficultés qui ont été créées. Mais qu'est-ce que ça fait que tu as La vérité. 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 La Uwafia, ni kunga ndepe fila fine Awa na wala dienshi chala wa shani shani Efo ndesa kama na kofe Kulia maskuru, whatever So those who want to help me Efi ya kunja fa kofe fila fine Kwa mwenga mwantu mina Tuwa lipila kwa awa na kuma skuru shani shani chapwa But padi nene kafe, I'm okay Is it that this phone has been uh, blocked somehow because this is the second this is the second second day in a row that i am not having phone calls and yet this 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 line get busy so i i don't understand how it is possible that people would be failing to go through Les amukulu batari, stay safe indeed. Les amukulu chishin kamandini. Tadi, how is JJ? Uh, I have not, con I have not, I have not uh, made contacts. Let me just say this. I have not made contacts with the uh, JJ for, uh, I have not made contacts for J with JJ, but uh, because of, um, you know, the situation, um, whatever, whatever. Let me not say, let me not say much. Let me not say much. All I can tell you is that I believe uh, is fine. I believe is fine. And the chupa chupa. Those people who are troubling his family and whatever, whatever. Mule chupa fe. Mule chupa fe because JJ, JJ did not go with the aid of uh, his family members. JJ went with the help of those who are not happy with the government. Those are the people that have helped JJ. So I want to say muchu shaba kashiba kweba anani ba anani. Teba afuile JJ to be uh, to go as far as he has gone. Aba afuile JJ. It's those who are not happy with the way things are going in government. And I can tell you. That if Vaka in the HDMI is not very careful, particularly if he dares to rig an election, if he dares to rig an election, uh, because there are a number of people that are not happy with Vaka in the HDMI. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.